What's up? I'm John Meyer, CEO of the Holstein Association USA. I'm here today with Ashley Moan and Lacey Papageorge, and um, we're going to talk with them a little bit about uh, their um, transition from college student to full-time uh, positions with the Holstein Association USA. Uh, both Ashley and Lacey were uh, going to college a year ago. Um, uh, Ashley was going to school at uh, Delaware Valley State University in Pennsylvania and uh, Lacey was going to school at Utah State University in Utah. So anyway, we'll start out a little bit um, and let me ask you first, Lacey, um, what is uh, your title uh, and position with the Holstein Association USA and so what do you actually do on the job for the Holstein Association? So I'm a regional field representative and I visit dairies in my area and um, help them get their animals registered. I provide information about all of our products and services and help them use those to their best benefit and um, just kind of utilize everything that we have in our company. Mm -hmm. And Ashley, how about you? I'm the communication coordinator for the association and in my role I manage our Facebook accounts for both the association and foundation, uh, Twitter, YouTube, so social media, uh, produce the What's Up each week and then the editor of the Halstein Pulse, our member magazine. Great. Ashley, let me ask you, um, how did you find out about the position and, and what was kind of the process of you uh, coming to work uh, for the Holstein Association? So I actually found out about it um, through LinkedIn Job Careers, um, that app on my phone, and kind of one one night, late, late night, kind of right before I graduated, I saw it pop up on my LinkedIn uh, news feed, and um, so I went to the website as it suggested to go and applied through our Holstein website, and uh, submitted my cover letter and resume, uh, and then the interview process started from, from there. I, after I got a call for to set up a time for the interview, um, I originally from Pennsylvania, so I drove from Pennsylvania to uh, Brattleboro, Vermont um, on one Friday afternoon, and then we sat down to have an interview. Um, yeah, you asked questions about my college experience, my past social media experience, um, just jobs I had, um, and kind of typical um, interview style questions to get to know myself. Um, yeah, and so that's kind of how that process worked. And then I got a job offer then. Great. Lacey, how about you? What was, what was the process that you went through before coming to work uh, for the Holstein Association? So I found out about the job through a friend. They knew that their rep had quit and they knew I was looking for a job. So he came up to me and was like, you need to apply for this. And I was kind of like, I don't know if I'll get it. And he was like, no, just apply for it. So I sent my resume and cover letter in like Ashley did. And then I got a call a couple days later from um, Steve Peterson. And he kind of talked to me, told me a little more about the job. And kind of, we just talked for a while and he asked me some questions and stuff. And um, told me he'd call me back soon. And then he called me back and told me that um, he'd like to set up an interview with me. So I interviewed with him and you as well. And I got to come back here and interview, and then um, you guys offered me the job. Mm -hmm. So let's talk a little bit, uh, Lacey and Ashley, a little bit about uh, your transition here. You know, just uh, a year or so ago, each of you were on your respective college campuses and uh, uh, being full-time college students, and now you're, you know, part of uh, the, the, the national workforce, contributing to the economy daily. And uh, uh, and whatnot. So, Ashley, why don't you speak first a little bit about your transition sure. and uh, how that went, and and um, a little bit about the whole process and mm -hmm. and what some of our viewers might um, be aware of when when you go from full time college student to full time uh, career. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, kind of, uh, I think my transition was a little different just because I moved um, from my hometown, Pennsylvania, all the way. Um, to Brattleboro, Vermont, uh, and so that 
the beginning stages of that transition, um, worked with the association and human resources uh, to kind of find a location that is suitable for me to live, first of all, and then, um, then moved all my stuff uh, to my apartment. And when I first started, and I started in July, and uh, that first, probably per first month, um, was not the easiest, I'm not going to lie. It wasn't the easiest just because, I don't know, being away from what I was normal, um, my home and my family, um, and then right out of college too, so that was a change. Um, so on college campus, I, I lived off of campus, so that wasn't that different, um, but not doing schoolwork and uh, not studying and reading as much was, was a definitely a change of, some areas were tougher than others, um, but if, if you're thinking about moving or um, moving far away from where you're from, know that th the beginning stages will be tough and it will be a transition, but if you stick through it, um, make friends, find activities in that area that you enjoy, um, they will all help kind of make this your new home and feel like you're welcome in that community that you're moving to. Ashley, it appears to me that uh, both of us living in Brattleboro, that you acclimated very well. What have been some of the keys? Yeah, I know you get involved with different things, so what right. have been some of the keys to, to, to help you with that transition? Just like you said, I kind of got involved in, I go to Zumba, um, find activities that I enjoy, and um, kind of embrace the community. Um, Brattleboro is different, definitely different than where I grew up in Pennsylvania, and you just kind of have to embrace it with open arms and um, then you kind of evolve yourself um, to fit into that community in that respective area. Um, and so I should mention it did help that one of my college friends works here as well. So that transition kind of, she was there to support me through it. Um, and so that definitely helped. Um. Lacey, tell us about your transition from full-time college student to full-time uh, career. My transition was definitely different than Ashley's because I moved from my college town back to our home farm mm -hmm. after getting the job, which has been great. Um, definitely a transition as far as now I'm not doing all the studying and the uh, preparing for exams and all that crazy stuff we did in college. Um, now I'm like have stuff that I'm more focused on with the career and knowing like what I need to do there and it's not like a whole bunch of different things that I'm working on so I like that that I can focus in on one thing but it's been a different transition with working five days a week and not having like a day off from class and now I don't have to work on the weekends as much so that's nice because before I could only work on the weekends mm -hmm. so I like that um, but yeah there's been some transition with figuring out like how to manage my schedule and how to manage like where I need to be and everything but it's been it's been a good experience for sure. Uh, Lacey, what do you like the most about working for the Holstein Association USA? What I like the most about working with Holstein is all of the amazing people that I get to work with and learn from. So I've met so many people since I started, um, all the people in the office, the other reps and field staff and even some of the people that I'm helping with their dairies. I'm learning a ton of things from everybody, and I really love that about working for Holstein. And Ashley, same question to you. What do you like the most about working for the Holstein Association? Probably very similar to Lacey. I, um, being in the communication side of things, kind of seeing how what we put out helps others and how far it goes, so especially on Facebook, you can kind of track um, who's liking things, who's sharing things um, that we are posts. Um, so th that's definitely a unique side of my job, and I, I love it. Um, and definitely the member side of member relations, meeting them when I go on different trips, um, and kind of seeing what we stand for, and they have a, such a passion for their cows and um, their dairy, and, and sharing that with them is pretty pretty great. Now, um, both of your positions um, involve travel, and uh, you've, uh, you, you've both done some traveling. Tell us uh, what you like about that and, uh, and whatnot, and if you see you know, the, the, um, the opportunity to travel as an advantage in your job. Ashley, let's start with you. I definitely think it's an advantage, uh, just because I'm 
I'm not tied down with a family or other aspects of my life. I'm not tied down. Um, and so having that opportunity to travel weeks, um, weekends, definitely um, helps me see the United States. <laughs> All right, Lacey, how about you? So I've done quite a bit of traveling as well with my sales position. I cover um, Utah, Idaho, and Colorado. So for sure, traveling all of those states, driving a lot through to the different dairies and stuff and staying in some new towns that I haven't really visited before. So I've really enjoyed that, getting to know kind of the surrounding states, cultures, and getting to go on adventures and stuff around those areas. And also coming back here to Brattleboro, I've been able to see kind of the New England states and experience a different part of the country that I haven't been to before. So that's been a really cool opportunity with this job, just mm -hmm. being able to travel and learn a lot and expand on the country and see some different places. Um, I'd ask you first, I guess, Lacey, what advice would you have to um, those uh, college students that are watching What's Up today? And um, as far as those college students that are, that are interested in pursuing a career in the dairy industry, um, what suggestions might you have for them? So advice that I'd have for any college students wanting to work in the dairy industry, take every opportunity you can. Get involved with your dairy science club. Get involved with your animal science clubs and all of the different clubs and things that your school might offer, the dairy judging team, the dairy challenge team. Take advantage of all of the internship opportunities and try out two or so different internships over your summers as you're coming up to graduation. And just take advantage of those opportunities to learn about yourself and to grow as a person. And you'll learn so many things doing those activities that aren't necessarily classroom work. That those are really the things in college that you need to take advantage of because that's where you're going to learn the most about yourself. Great. Ashley, how about you? Same question. What advice do you have for our college students mm -hmm. uh, looking to embark on a career in the dairy industry? Sure. I want to first say that it doesn't matter if you came from a dairy farm or not. I'm one that did not grow up on a dairy farm. I grew up on my grandparents' dairy farm, but I was lived in the town. Uh, so don't, don't, um, don't think negatively about not or going into the dairy industry if you didn't come to or grew up on a dairy farm. Um, you can find your passion and if you, if you love dairy cows or the dairy industry there's different avenues that you can pursue and kind of find where your heart lies um, whether it be nutrition or communications or sales um, there's so many job opportunities within the dairy industry um, and kind of what Lacey said step out of the the classroom and go to the different events that your school offers within um, the dairy or ag sector of your college um, or university and kind of make those connections, network while you're there. There's going to be lots of um, industry professionals that you can network with and kind of uh, maybe even ask them about their jobs or um, to, to find what you like and dislike. Um, that way you going into the, the workforce after college, you kind of already have an, an idea of um, what you want to do and where you want to set your passion and kind of expertise level at. Um, and so, yeah, use those as your advantage and kind of um, step out of your comfort zone too. Um, it, it, you kind of step out of that bubble that you're used to. I certainly did and it kind of helped um, me when I was trying to look for jobs and um, that next step after college. Those things all help and yeah, definitely take, take that step out of that classroom. You know, um, speaking of the classroom, I mentioned that you went to Del Delaware Valley University in Pennsylvania. And a a Ashley, I don't know that I mentioned your major. What was your major? Um, my major was dairy science, and then I had minors in ag business and communications. Mm -hmm. And Lacey, at Utah State, your major was? I majored in animal science with a dairy emphasis and an ag business minor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, do either of you have uh, any other uh, words of wisdom or, or, or things that you'd like to share with our viewers uh, uh, today? I just, uh, I'll say something that 
look at different avenues while you, when you're looking for a job right out of college or while you're still in college and look on LinkedIn. Even Facebook now has career opportunities, career, uh, job postings. Um, and it might seem old school, but look in that newspaper and look in the farm shine, Lancaster Farming, your uh, local ag newsletters, newspapers, because those job, job opportunities um, in that local area will probably be in there and go, go different avenues to find that job you're looking for. That was great. I would also say, like, take the risks and apply for the jobs. Even if you don't get it, you'll still learn from the process and then you might be able to do better for the next interview that you have or the next time you have to apply. So I just take those risks and um, go for your dream, go for your goals and just work hard to get there. Yeah. Well that's great. I've sure enjoyed this conversation with you Lacey and Ashley today and uh, I um, think that everyone watching this knows why I believe the future at the Holstein Association is so bright. Having the opportunity to work with people like Lacey and Ashley is certainly encouraging and certainly uh, leads us to a bright future at the Holstein Association. So until next time, what's up?